Dad's favorite jacket. You shouldn't be wearing it. Take it off. Dad! Dad! Oh, we, we were worried about you. How come my dad isn't here? Where is he? I uh, put on your daddy's coat because I was very cold. I, I didn't think that he would mind. <laughs> yes, he would mind. Dad! Dad! Oh, sweetie, he, he's out looking for you. I go for I, hey, hey, wait a minute, Al. I think we should stay here, I'm, you know, in case he calls. Look, you don't want to miss those fireworks out at the fairgrounds, do you, and those rides? Man, I love scary rides, don't you? And the fireworks, the louder they are, the better they are. That's what I think. How about you? What do you think? I hate fireworks. Last year, Siege and I were messing around firecrackers, and that's when we fell in that hole. Oh, yeah, that was so scary. You weren't even there. Luna was. My dad saved us, and Luna helped him get out. Now she wants us to come home with her. Well, that's real sweet how you feel about Luna, but uh, she's probably on her way back to Landview. You liar! Now, don't be mean, sweetie. <laughs> How about I fix us a big old glass of lemonade? I'm not much of a cook, but I can fix a killer glass of lemonade. How about that? You like that? Be right back. I know where Luna's staying, and I'm going to get her. Oh, no, no, honey. I think you should stay here. Your dad'll come home pretty soon, and he'll tell you the same thing. Luna, Luna's come back from Landview. And it's too far to go back to that motel anyway. Then I'll bring my pony. Ah, do you like yours extra sweet? I do. I... Al, you listen to me, Max Holden. I did tell you the truth. I did come down here on my own. Cord just got here a few minutes ago. But you know what? I thank the guy to see is here because I sure do need his help. Oh, help, huh? I bet. Help with you, uh -huh. Max. Wait, maybe we need to clarify the rules here. You know, the help rules. Because I'm a little mixed up. It's okay for a cord to come 2,000 miles to help you out, but Blair tries to help me, and it's the end of the world? Well, Blair helped you get deeper in debt, pal. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, she helped you commit adultery. That's what she helped you with. Well, you stand there next to him and say this. I am not sleeping with cord, and you know it. I do? Yes, you do. Max, for God's sake. And if you don't know that's true, then I want you to get out of here right now. I want you to get out of here. What are you doing here, anyway? I came here looking for Al. I thought maybe you got a hold of him and you're trying to turn him against me a little more. I haven't seen Al. Is he... He hasn't been here. Where is he? He better not be trying to cover up. Is he missing, Max? You think he's run away. That's what you're looking for. He's not missing. I know you think I'm incapable of taking care of him, but I'm not. If he's not here, he's still with Juanita Hawk. I'll go over there and pick him up. I'll leave you perfect people to do whatever you perfect You're not people. going anywhere. Oh, no? No. You're going to sit right here, and you're going to talk to Luna. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to find Al, and then I'm going to bring him over here, and then I'm going back to land you, all right? You know, listen to what she's got to say. You owe her that much, at least. All right, go ahead. Tell him. Tell me what? Why don't you tell him what I said, all right? That's a good place to start. And you take it from there, Luna. Good luck, huh? However it turns out. All right. I'm listening. I'll play. What did Cord say to you? He said you didn't deserve me. Mm-hmm. And did he tell you who is good enough to deserve you? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with bored. Cord deserves any woman alive. Uh, Best man you ever met. Those are your words. Yeah, well, things change. Some things don't. It's not all he told me. Oh, go to town. He told me you loved me like you never loved any other woman. He said that we belong together. 
And he believes we're going to find our way back to each other. He does, does he? That's what he believes. What about you? What do you feel? I'm going to tell you the truth, Max. It's real hard to feel your love these days. But I still believe that it's there, I guess. I guess I always will. Listen, Luna. Yeah, I'm listening. Oops. We don't have to answer that. Oh, yeah, we do. We can't leave the finest man that ever breathed, Cord Roberts, out there standing in the sunset. Dad! Where the heck did you come from? I would say my pony. Well, I passed Cord on the road, and he told me what room you guys were in. Hey. Hi, Luna. Hey, sugar. <laughs> you sure are? You're quite a sight. I knew you didn't go back to Landview. You took your horse all the way from the ranch to here? Yeah, it was a cinch. Yeah, well, listen, I don't want you to ever do that again. Is that understood? Sure. Now that we're back together again. What? That's why you and Dad are here, right? We're all going to be together again, aren't we, Dad? Yes, I was wondering, I know that this is going to sound really strange, but have you by any chance seen a little boy on, on a pony? He's about eight years old. His name... Oh, you have? Oh, and he's there. He's safe. Oh, thank God. See, he was visiting one of your um, guests, Luna Moody. And, oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, don't ring a room. Um, I, uh, but is Court Roberts visiting? He, he just walked by your desk about an hour ago. No, no, please, no, no messages. That, that, that's just great. Thank you. Well, Max, you are just going to love walking in on your wife with your best friend. Coming! Cord! What are, what are, what are you doing here? Well, you invited me down here. Remember that, Blair? You told me to hightail it down here to Sweetwater so I get Luna and take her back home before she makes a fool out of herself. You remember that? Oh, right. But what are you doing here? You should be on a plane with Luna. Back to Landview. Oh, long story. Believe me. But don't worry about it. You're not going to miss a single detail. I'm going to fill you in on everything. I promise you that. But you're going to be a little too busy here right now because you got some packing to do. Because there have been some big changes in the plans. Uh, who's... Well, your plans, Blair. See, Luna is not the one who's leaving town. You are. <laughs> no, no, I am not. Um, yes, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you won't bet. One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC. Can I ask you a favor? Why not? You're still taking me to the rodeo and fairgrounds tonight, right? I promised you I would. Well, can Luna come too? Al, Sugar, that's not fair. It's just for tonight, Dad. One night. Why can't we just be together for one night? Oh, boy. Al, um... Could you do me a favor? Could you go make sure that you tied your horse up real tight and make sure he's got plenty of water? When I come back, will you give me an answer? Uh, you go on out there and you take care of that pony, all right? And we'll be right here, okay? Did you want to say something? Fourth of July. I remember the first one we spent together. Back at Landview, country club party. Outside on the terrace. Beautiful night. Lots of stars. Perfect. You're perfect. Blair was still after you. 
Blair was murdered by the 